What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today I'm very excited to bring you guys some gameplay from the map Kremlin in Advanced Warfare. So, uh, this is one of the four new multiplayer maps coming to Advanced Warfare as a part of the Supremacy DLC pack. And this one is definitely one of the most unique maps. Not necessarily in terms of, you know, kind of visuals and stuff, but in the way that it plays. Like, honestly, it really doesn't feel like an advanced warfare map like if you look right here this machine gun i'm on up in the second story of this building this is pretty much the only second story kind of like area in this whole map there are a couple of other like really small buildings off the sides but for the most part most of this map is played on one singular playing field there's not a lot of verticality to it there's not a lot of exo boost jumping to get up to certain spots and you know kind of like uh holding down the the upper part of the map and stuff like a lot of the other advanced warfare maps are, it really reminds me more of something like Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3, where it's, you know, pretty much everything is fought on the ground. It's a large open square map. There's, you know, obviously cover and stuff that you have to hide behind. You can jump up on and stuff like that. But uh, there's not really a lot of like verticality, jumping over people, all that kind of stuff going on. So uh, it's really kind of interesting in that regard. And it's, it's kind of refreshing. It's something totally different than what you expect to see uh, in Advanced Warfare. So uh, as for the setting, this is taking place in Russia, just outside the presidential palace. It's kind of like uh, the, the Red Square, I think it's called. It's a very symmetrical map. Each side has the, the giant two-story building with the machine gun on top overlooking the middle bridge. Then there's kind of flank routes around the sides and little buildings around the sides. Uh, halfway through the match, there's an interactive map feature right here where these proximity, you know, kind of like explosives pop up. And if you touch that red area, they're going to blow you up. Even if you like boost slide into that and then immediately double jump out, they're still going to get you. They're very, very powerful and they'll kill very, very quickly. So it really kind of changed the game. It makes you can't quite flank around as easily. Uh, the only way to get over them is to either jump on top of the, the blue kind of like cargo containers you guys saw me do just there, or if you have blind eye on, that actually allows you to run directly through them. And that's something that I was having a lot of fun with. We played this map a couple of times. Once I figured out that blind eye would, uh, you know, kind of save me from these things, I turned that on every single class for this map. And it's awesome to be able to sit in there and stalk around those containers and see people that, you know, are jumping over you, not paying attention to down there because they don't want to die. And a lot of people didn't know that, uh, that you could put blind eye on and not die from them. So that's something I would really recommend to you guys. If you're gonna be playing on this map, make sure you put blind eye in your class because it's uh, it's very very useful but um yeah, so this is Kremlin, my friends. It's a, a pretty fun map. Like, it, it, was, it really works well for objective game types. TDM, I feel like it might get kind of slow just because the map is so big. Like, this thing is enormous. Assault rifles are very, very good on here. I'd venture to say that sniper rifles are even better. Like, I was I was doing really well with the sniper in a couple of these games. And it's just like the, the long lines of sight kind of force you to use those longer range weapons, which is, again, something a little bit different uh, in advanced warfare. You know, typically advanced warfare is a little bit more, you know, medium range maybe even sometimes close range but so like I said this map just it doesn't really feel like it belongs compared to the other maps that are in this game but that's not saying it's not a great map like it was actually a lot of fun to play and I would definitely put this probably in my top two maps for this map pack I don't know maybe top three it's kind of it's kind of tough because high rise has to be my number one or sky rise has to be not my number one so uh, I don't know it's just yeah, I thought it was a pretty good map it's something a little bit different it's very very refreshing hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay thank you guys so much for watching tomorrow we're going to be posting the new carrier zombies yes that's right folks I've got a bunch of awesome videos I want to show you guys it's a very very cool zombies map definitely my favorite so far so look forward to videos from that. Make sure you guys check back. And to thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys later. Peace out.